Uh, so I was born in a small island called uh, Reunion Island, which is um, in the Indian Ocean, very east of Madagascar. And uh, I've always been interested in martial arts, so uh, when I was a kid I was always a, a fan of uh, Bruce Lee. Uh, and um, after high school I went to Lyon in France to continue my uh, studies, to, to go to university. And from then I started really to study martial arts. So I started at 18, and I started with Karate, Shotokan, and Jiu Jitsu. And uh, when, uh, I think uh, during a seminar, a Jiu Jitsu seminar, I, uh, there was a video, kind of video party or something, with all kind of martial arts. And um, it was the first time I saw Shio Dagozo. He was a tiny guy and he was uh, throwing a uh, big guy, he looks very cool. Uh, 1978. And uh, so I thought, oh, I was just tilted. And I thought, uh, I want to meet this guy and I want to, to see if that's real or not. And uh, so I um, finished uh, university. I went back to Réunion before the army, I had to do one year. But uh, so I there, and just after the university, I went straight to Tokyo. Uh, Shura Sensei was very interested in the, in the, the what they call Shuchiryoku, the focus of power. So this, in put everything you have in a very short moment. Back in the, from the early stage, he was always uh, focusing on that, and that gave him a lot of really tremendous power and speed. And, uh, and personally, that, that was that, that, because I, I came from a karate and jiu jitsu background, so I thought Aikido was very weak. So I, I didn't, I, I, I wanted, to, I went to Japan actually, I actually, I didn't know that uh, when I would, when I watched um, the video of Shoda Sensei, I, he was in Japanese, so I didn't know he was, he was Aikido, I thought it was jiu jitsu. So I went to Tokyo to look for a Jiu Jitsu yeah. master, and uh, I just discovered he was, he was Aikido. And actually, actually, the story how I met Shu um, is quite interesting because um, yeah, it's not like today you have the internet. So that was uh, more than 30 years ago. So no internet, and I was uh, and I knew only the the name, the name of Shoda Gozo. I even didn't know it was Tokyo because it could have been anywhere in, in, in Japan. And uh, I didn't speak any Japanese. I didn't know anybody over there, except one um, student I met one day in, in Lyon. Uh, so uh, the chance to meet him was really, very really small. But I knew that I was going to find him well, one way or the other. So I went, uh, I just decided uh, to go. I bought my ticket, save a little money, and I went to Tokyo. And it took about one month to find the dojo. Go mm. dojo. Because I was looking for Jiu-Jitsu dojo first. <laughs> and I didn't speak any Japanese. So, so with the help of this uh, of a student, uh, she looked in the telephone books. And she looked for all the names and things like that. All, first, she looked for all the Jiu-Jitsu dojos. <laughs> and so we visited and we couldn't find. And finally, so we said, what I should ask? Oh, no, this is not Jiu-Jitsu, this is Aikido. And from that we look, and we called uh, we called uh, the house, Shuda's uh, sensei's house, and okay. yes, and uh, <laughs> his wife uh, answered and say uh, no, the, he gave us the number of the hongu, the dojo, and that's when we we went to the, to the dojo. Right. And uh, so I went there, and uh, uh, I went there, but. Um, I, at this time, I, knew, I lived in um, Saitama, you know Saitama? Okay? Yeah. So it's very far. So I had to commute uh, two or three hours to, to go there, okay. because you had to change train and things like that. It was a very small, small village. And, um, and, and I have a few, very little money, so all the money was gone very fast. So I would uh, do that as a normal student for one month. So, but I, I was training on the, in the evening, on the evening, and I had to commute a lot. And on top of that, in one month, I, I didn't have the chance to, to see Shoda Sensei at all, because he was never there when I was coming to the training.
So I, I was taught by uh, the deshi, but not, not him. And after one month, uh, all my money was gone. So the last day, I decided to go to the dojo and say thank you to everybody and say, you know, I'm sorry I came to Japan for to study, but my all my money is gone and I uh, have to go back home. So thank you. But it just happened that uh, when I was outside in the um, parking lot, uh, the young Shoda, the son, was outside, and uh, he started to talk to me because uh, he was um, planning to go to England to teach in England. So he was he was looking for for foreigner to talk in English to improve his, his English. So we start to talk like that. Could and you speak in English? Very small. Very <laughs> little. So we could, and he, he didn't speak much either. So we could somewhere communicate. <laughs> so he, he understood my story and he said, Oh, it's too bad you came all this way and you never met my, my, my dad. So, but today he's here. So if you want, I can come to, I can introduce him to you. Oh, I said, Oh, yeah, please. And we, got, we went straight to his uh, office. And he started to talk, to talk, and see like that. And suddenly, uh, Shoda just stand up. He didn't understand what they were saying. He just stand up and just look at me straight in the face. And he said, is that true that you like uh, Aikido? Is that true that you came only to study Aikido? I said, yes, but uh, now I don't I have to go back because I, I don't have any money and uh, no choice. So he said, uh, if you really like Aikido, I give you a chance. But you have to be courageous. You have to be able to... Uh, to train six hours a day, and you have to get up early in the morning, do the, all the cleaning, and look after the, your, your seniors, and you do a little bit of chores in the dojo, and things like that. If you are ready to do that, I can give you three months. For three months, we will see if you can, uh, if you can take these things. And if you can do that, you can stay for free at the dojo. So I just said, oh yes, and the uh, next day I was moving the dojo. <laughs> I, no, I was not a, do a, de a deshi because nobody liked me, they, they didn't talk to me, they said, no, oh. they say uh, probably uh, I would be gone in a week, so no need to, to worry about me, <laughs> to talk to me. <laughs> so, and I didn't speak anyway, I didn't understand anything, so I would say os to everything they say, and bow and say os to everything, and you know, listen carefully, try to do my best. And, uh, but I would, I would uh, you know, do whatever, you know, I'd do the cleaning and train and be there all the time. So after three months, be people just uh, were surprised I was still there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Shura Sensei said, oh, you're still there. Uh, so, okay, you can stay more. <laughs> so I stayed another three months. And that's when the next uh, Senshu Seiko started. 